This is the Carrot Top. What's up YouTube? We're back with another tutorial on jig tying. So first thing to get started, let's take our jig. We're gonna take our side cutters and cut this access off. It comes off pretty easy with some side cutters. Just clip it on the side right there. It on the side and it should come off. There we go. Hey, some come off easier than others. Let's put it back in our vise. I'm gonna bring the tip all the way up to the end right there. And let's get started with a thick thread base. No doubt, I always try to put a really good thread base on the first pass. So as I'm wrapping it around that shank, I'll go all the way to the tip of the hook. And then let's bring it all the way back. I'm gonna take our scissors and cut our tag end off. And we'll take our hackle feather, lay that on top of the shank, wrap that feather in, try to leave it on top. Let's bring it all the way back to where we ended our thread base last time. We're gonna bring it all the way back. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're gonna take our flash I like to fold it in half, lay it on your shank, then wrap it and that'll give you a chance to cut it to uh, size a little bit later. All right, let's take our Chanel and pinch a little bit off the end. That'll give you that tag line to tie to. Lay that on your shank, wrap it back. Make sure it's good and tight. All the way to the end of your feather. Now let's bring it back all the way up to the lid. I'm gonna take our Chanel and start wrapping it. And when I wrap it, the Chanel, I wrap it very tight. You can see the tension on, the, uh, on that jig. See how much I'm pulling it. Bring it all the way back here, all the way to the lead head. Now, when you're at the lead head, take your your string and I'll loop back around, and then come over probably about three times. That generally cinches it up at the end right there. All right, and we got three good ones on there. Take and cut our Chanel off. All right, now let's give this a good few turns. All right, time for the whip finisher. Tricky little tool, but once you get it, you get it. Take it, pinch it right here. Take it onto your, to your thread and hook it. And then the, the other end, pull up around that notch. Then you just simply let go. And now create this triangle right here. Then you can take your triangle and wrap it. One, two, three, four, and five. Then tilt forward, that'll release it. And then as you pull, you're giving it that notch. Give it a good little tug right there. Take your scissors, cut your tag line off. Take your compound. Give it just a little dab, that's all it takes. And take and cut your flash to where you want it. I like to do one lined up with the feathers and then one a little bit longer. And there you have it. Man, that is a good looking jig. 